Good morning, boys and girls. Miss Jackie here on this rainy Monday morning. I'm going to read second grade rules, chapter six. After today, only two chapters left. So if you can remember from last week, we were reading about the kids and they were going to play a prank on somebody at school. Anybody remember what the prank was? Let's read and find out. The bus pulled up in front of school and I stuffed the rubber spider in my pocket. Good luck, Robbie whispered as we got off the bus. I can't wait to hear all about it. Meet me by the big trees at recess, I said, and I'll tell you the whole story. Bye. Bye, shouted Robbie as he ran off to his classroom. This trick is going to be great, Josh said, patting me on the back. I know, I said, smiling at him, really great. What's really great, asked Miss Clark when we walked into the room. Josh froze and looked at me. Um, um, I said, I didn't know Miss Clark had heard us talking. The day, today, today is going to be really great. I'm glad to hear that, said Miss Clark. Do you have something special planned? I nodded my head, yes I do. Something really special, I said, gently patting my pocket. Well, that's wonderful, said Miss Clark. I'm happy for you. Why don't you go put your things away and get yourself ready, Freddie? Okay, Miss Clark, I will. I walked over to my coat hook and cubby. Phew, that was a close one. Josh whispered. I nodded a little too close, but I don't think she heard anything. I hung up my coat and started to empty up my backpack. Chloe came bounding into the room. Good morning, Miss Clark. Good morning, Chloe. Chloe waved her hand in Miss Clark's face. Look, Miss Clark, look at my nails. Aren't they so cute? She always thinks she's so cute, said Jessie, rolling her eyes. Stop waving your hand so I can see, said Miss Clark. Oh, look at that. Your nails have little pumpkins on them. Who else wants to see, said Chloe, waving her hands in the air. No one answered. Chloe, you need to put your things away so we can get started now, said Miss Clark. You can show your friends your nails later. Or maybe never, Jessie whispered. I laughed. Chloe came over to put her things away. She carefully hung up her coat, and then she unzipped her backpack, pulled out her lunchbox, and opened it to inspect what was inside. Ooh, look, my mom packed me finger sandwiches for lunch today, she said. Ew, finger sandwiches, said Max. Who wants to eat sandwiches with fingers in them? <laughs> they don't have fingers in them, said Chloe. They are called finger sandwiches because they're so tiny, you can hold them with just two fingers. Fancy ladies eat them at tea parties. Boy, she's taking forever, said Josh. She always does, I whispered. If she doesn't hurry up, I won't have time to put the spider in her cubby. Hey, Chloe, hurry up, said Max. You're in my way. I can't put my things in my cubby. You'll just have to wait, said Chloe. I'm not done yet. Well, I don't have all day, fancy pants, said Max. Now move it. He gave Chloe a big shove, and she fell to the floor. The stuff in her lunchbox went flying everywhere. Miss Clark, Miss Clark, Chloe wailed. Max pushed me. I did not, yelled Max. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Besides, you were in my way. If someone's in your way, Max, then you need to say, excuse me. You can't just push them. Now tell Chloe you're sorry, Miss Clark said as she helped Chloe get up. Sorry, Max barked. Max, Miss Clark said, you need to say it in a friendly voice. Sorry, Max grumbled, looking at the ground. Max, look at Chloe and tell her you're sorry. Max glanced at Chloe quickly. I'm sorry. Miss Clark helped Chloe get her lunch back into her lunchbox. Now, boys and girls, we really need to finish putting our things away. It's time to get started. Chloe took off her pink fluffy sweater folded it neatly, and laid it carefully in her cubby. Then 
She went to sit at her desk. Josh went to sit down too. I looked around to make sure that no one was watching me. I secretly pulled the rubber spider out of my pocket and put it in Chloe's cubby and knocked her sweater on the floor. As I walked over to my desk to sit down, I patted Josh on the back. Hey, Chloe, said Josh. What? Is that your sweater on the floor? <laughs> no, it can't be, said Chloe. I folded my sweater up very neatly and put it in my cubby. But isn't your sweater pink? Asked Josh. Yes, yeah, said Chloe, pink and fluffy. Then it's yours, Josh said, pointing. Look over there. Chloe turned her head to look, and then she bolted out of her chair. Oh no, oh no, that is my brand new sweater from Paris. My Nana just went on a trip to France and brought it back for me. She picked up her sweater and brushed it off. Chloe, said Miss Clark, please put your sweater away quickly and come back and sit down. Chloe took a step towards her cubby. I looked at Josh and Josh looked at me. We smiled. I mouthed the words, one, two, three. Ah! Chloe screamed. I was sure Robbie could hear it all the way down in his classroom. Help, help, a spider, a spider, Chloe shouted. And then she jumped up on a chair. There's a spider in my cubby. Get it out, get it out. <laughs> You're such a baby, said Max. Chloe jumped down off the chair and started running around the room, waving her arms and screaming, ah! Chloe, calm down. Spiders won't hurt you, said Miss Clark. I'll catch it and put it outside. Miss Clark got a jar and went over to Chloe's cubby to catch the spider. But when she got there, she started laughing. What's so funny, said Chloe. Miss Clark, picked up the rubber spider. It's not real, she said. It's just a toy. I guess someone was playing a practical joke on you. Well, I don't think it's very funny, said Chloe. <laughs> I do, said Max. I think it's really funny. I wish I had thought of that. When Miss Clark turned around to put the spider on her desk, I gave Josh a thumbs up. Good one, I mouthed. Josh smiled and gave me two thumbs up. Tomorrow we'll read chapter seven. Can you try to read the title for me? I wonder what chapter seven is gonna be all about. We're almost to the end. Have a great Monday and I will see you guys all later.